Welcome back, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good, doing great, doing fantastic. I'm not. I have my eyes and my nose is burning. I feel like I'm slightly dying a little bit. But when we left off, we were here. And this is Deathmark. I'm sure if you clicked on it, you already know what it is. But, um, I left off here. And don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Sorry, forgot to do all that. We left off here in the Bone Town, and it is creepy. There's a lady somewhere in this room that's tied up. I have no idea what's going on with that. There's a dried up corpse. The body is twisted in opposition, as if it's still in pain even now. Um, feel it? I hesitantly searched the corpse, but I don't find anything. Look at it. The body's twisted up in opposition as if it's still okay, yeah. So same thing. And I don't think there's a reason to use a tool on it. I don't know, every time they give me this option to use a tool. Like I wouldn't even know what to put in here. I take out the letter opener. What should I do with it? Okay, no no. I'm just gonna try everything, you guys. I'm sorry. doesn't do anything I'll just skip it really fast uh, the red pen okay nothing slipper okay nothing okay nothing I'm sure that's not gonna do anything either so we'll just end it dry corpse okay same thing fill on it has to really search the course but don't find anything got it Dried up corpse, feel on them. <sighs> Nothing. Got it. Today has been really, really weird for me, guys. Something flashes within the veins and it, the vines, Jesus, the veins, the vines and, and it, it's the around hand mirror. Looks like a gift for a young woman. A mirror. I guess someone was here after all. That doesn't mean someone was here. I mean, I mean, you know someone's here. Look at all the bodies and stuff everywhere. Uh, search the body. Nothing. Got it. Uh, we searched that body. We searched this one. I think the only thing we searched this one, right? Yeah, we searched this one. Good. Uh, the bed. There's a bed with a metal pipe frame. The mattress is completely discolored, stained with something that looks like sweat. Okay. I mean, it's a bed, so of course. Someone has been living here and for how long too? And for a long time too, Jesus. For how long? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm messing up already. I told y'all my eyes are watery and my nose is burning and sinus is just acting up. The mattress is oozing dark, dirty water. It smells like sewage. I slide the mattress over and find a plastic sheet underneath it. It's pretty thick. Was it there to protect from the water damage? The top of the sheet is pitch black. At first glance, it looks like it's covered in mold. But when I spread it open, it crushes it as dark as ooh, red flakes fall from it. This is blood. Don't freak Mo out. She's already freaked out. Don't do this to her. I can't do anything but whisper dumbfounded as I stare at the bloodstained sheet. Something murmurs in my ear as if in reply. Their blood denies him. I'm assuming part of me takes the voice seriously. Um, I'm assuming they're talking about Hanaiko. So I'm guessing that Hanaiko, there are certain types of blood that he can take and then there's certain blood that he can't. I'm clearly hallucinating. 
but for some reason it calms me down. Still in a daze, I shine the flashlight under the bed. There it is again! Some something's there. Mo's voice has gone very shrill. Then Hey now, give me a break. I don't think that sounds like Mo. I'm no monster, you know. I'm just a regular human being. Someone was under the bed? Oh, hello you. He looks kind of like me a little bit. Wait a second, hold on. How do I get to the, the menu? Was it? No, that's how you look at him. Ugh, I didn't even do that. It's a man in a trench coat. I guess I can't look at it right now. I'm gonna show you, like, you guys keep this picture in mind because he looks just like me. It's a man in a trench coat. A, a person? What were you doing under there? The man looks bored. He scoffs. Same as you. I ran into that monster and escaped down here. Then you guys came. The man turns his back to us and jerks his chin. Anyways, I was hiding over there. His answer is unbelievable. Is believable now, sorry. Why is he at this school in, to begin with? Exactly, why are you here? Are you, maybe he has a mark too. Maybe he's a mark bearer too. His presence raises a lot of questions. The man tilts his head a bit and peers at me. Then he snorts. It seems he's been, he's seen, he's seen through me. Jesus, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. You don't look like you believe me. I guess that's only natural. I haven't told you anything either. I could, but... The man looks around at his feet. Better we get out of here first. We shouldn't chat in a crime scene, at the crime scene. I think you're right. Most seems to feel the same way. Let's head back for now. So this guy was hiding under the bed. He's talking about a crime scene. He must be a detective too. And he just got here before we did. You have somewhere to, to go back to? Good. Then let's get going. <sighs> Ooh, this is gonna be a really, really, really weird gameplay. The man puts his, put his hand on the ladder. He pauses and turns to us. <sighs> These names. I'm, I apologize if I butchered the name. The name is Satoru Mishida. And I'm an ex-detective. Forgot to mention that. The name... Mashi Mashita? Mashita. It's gotta be Mashita. Disappears up the ladder. We follow him back to the first floor. But when we emerged, he was not there. Hey. Take a look at this. But she was calling to us from down the hallway. Was it like this when you guys came through? Mo pipes up, light voice slightly wildly. N no, it wasn't. It wasn't like this at all. Roses everywhere. I mean. So it's scary because you know what's causing the roses, but it's actually it actually looks better. Like it looks really nice. Something's creeping along the hallway. There, rose vines. Thought so. Didn't see them before either. Mars color grows more vivid. A few hours left until death closes in. 
Oh no, our time. Jesus. That man's speeding. We're back in the car. Some people naturally put others on guard, even if there's no particular ill will between them. This is exactly the type of person Mashita is. Oh, you've got some nice stuff here. The moment he climbs in the car, he makes a grab for my bag. Then he starts inspecting all my stuff. I wasn't planning on keeping a constant eye on him, but he's making it very hard to not, not do. Most things like the type to, <laughs> to stick her nose in everything, but she's suspiciously silent. Silent, Jesus. As if exhausted. I mean, you guys are up all night trying to find these monsters and stuff that's trying to kill you. I'm certain a few of you guys are like dead tired. Are you okay, Mo? Huh? Oh, yeah. Just zoning out. You know, I'm fine. She doesn't look fine, but. My other passenger is more of a concern right now. So, were you at that school because you were investigating something? Jesus, he just, all right. I'm not on the force anymore. Just poking around for my own reasons. Something I wanted to check out. I don't doubt what he says, but that would mean he entered the school illegally. What were you? Let me ask you one thing first. Mashita interrupts my question and points at my arm. Does that hurt? It didn't take him long to spot the mark on my wrist. Sometimes it hurts. <coughs> Sorry. Sometimes. It hurts the most whenever I'm in danger. Huh. Is that so? She leans back in his seat, satisfied. I was investigating some missing people. Guess he's responding to my question now. The school came up in a number of missing person cases. Each one of them affiliations with the H elementary. That's an elementary school. I keep thinking like it's a high school for some reason has some affiliation with the H Elementary before they disappeared. Teachers, workers, people in the PTA, students and their family members. I was looking for them. Then, Mo speaks up from the back seat. Were those people the corpses down there? She doesn't sound as energetic as she normally does. Did something happen after all? It's her mark. Rashida doesn't reply. Maybe he thinks the answer's obvious. Or maybe replying to a kid isn't worth his time. I mean, he looks like a kid himself, to be honest. Like, he looks like he's, like, 23 tops. Like, that's still young, so... But something bugs me about what he just said. If the school was clearly suspicious, then... Of course, I brought it up to the, my superiors. All I got for it was... He continues before I can ask, making a slashing motion across his neck. You got fired, huh? Disciplinary discharge. Something about sexual harassment. So harassing a subordinate. The principal's gotta have some kind of political pool. I probably dug up something he didn't want getting out. That wasn't my plan. I never meant to uncover anything dirty. True. But school did have that suspicious room. It's not that strange to think it would come up in some missing person cases. 
that wouldn't be common sense at least it would be common sense sorry but common sense is for the world of the living a spirit might have something to do with those cases there's an awkward silence in that sense this isn't even a case anymore is it she just sighs deeply. <sighs> Who'd believe it? Would you believe that there's a monster in that school killing people? It's personal now. Our problem. And we're on our own. He turns his wrist over and shows it to me. On his skin, it's a familiar mark. You too? Yeah, I sensed it as soon as I saw yours. I had a feeling that this would be the problem. We're in the same boat, you and I. He has good instincts. I mean, he's a detective, he better. We should talk more when we get back. At Coach's mansion, there's some... I stopped myself from finishing my sentence. I shouldn't mention that for now. In any case, once we get back, we'll give you more details. Yeah, I'm sure that'll help him a bunch. That was Mo, and I did not know that was Mo. They, you guys should really put some names up here so I know when Mo's talking. But Machida scoffs. Help. You're underestimating me. We're not underestimating you. We're trying to help you, sir. So I guess we're taking them back to Mary. Mary's going to explain everything to him and all that good stuff. When we get out of the car, someone's there to greet me. Welcome back, mister. You too, Miss Mo. This little kid, I gave him like three different voices, you guys. I am trying, but my voice is like gone today. So don't judge me on his voice. His voice might change a few times. I'm glad you're unharmed. I mean, it wasn't too bad. We destroyed the mirror, I guess, so. Did you find any clues about the spirit? What? So there are others. This is everyone. Huh? What a reliable group we got. He's being so sarcastic. <laughs> the sarcasm <laughs> is practically dripping off his words. I'm sorry. So, are you all planning on continuing the search for that key or whatever it is? We don't have anything else to go on. There's no other choice. I don't understand you. If the source of the mark is this spirit, it would be best to destroy the source, don't you think? What do you mean? The spirit exists. So all we have to do is kill it. Are you serious of course he's serious he doesn't exactly look like the joking type even if we manage to kill it will that really make the mark disappear when I consider everything Mary told me it doesn't seem like it'd work that way even assuming it did we had a more fundamental problem You know what? I think I know he's talking about. The mark on his... It, she told him that the mark is going to kill him at dusk, which is morning. And morning is definitely coming up. So maybe that's what he's talking about. And how do you plan to kill it? I'll figure something out. If something exists, 
There's logically a way to destroy it as well. He claims he can kill the spirit, yet he doesn't even know how he'll do it. Where does all this confidence come from? Don't forget, I faced him once already. He's talking about Hana Iko, I think. If we're seriously thinking of killing him, Sheila grasps his wrist. The little spirit shot some kind of thorn at me from the distance. They hit hard enough to stick in concrete. There's no way to get close to him. We have to... <laughs> Ouch. Sorry, you guys. My nose is like really burning and my eyes are burning. I might cut this short. We have to make that a priority. She to pull something out of the heel of his shoe and tosses it at me. It's a thorn, curved like a fang. The only reason I'm still breathing is because I got lucky. It won't happen next time. We need a plan. As we head to the entrance, I tell Mashita about Koji Mansion. He takes it all in silently. Even bringing up the talking doll or Sayed Koji's death doesn't trigger a reaction. <sighs> he is so unnervingly calm because he's already dealt with the supernatural. Or is he so unnerving? We reach the main hall, which is warmly lit. There's a strange. This is a strange mansion. But for some reason, I feel like I've come home. So I think we're gonna stop it right there. I don't think like we should go any further because I feel like if we go any further, it's gonna take a lot longer than 20 minutes and it's already like 22 minutes already. Oh, my eye is burning. Sorry, you guys. Like my eye. Darn it. This doll is so weird. We're definitely gonna save it right here and we'll finish talking to Mary as soon as we get back. So I love you guys oh so much. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.